Hey guys, it's been a little while. Uh, I'm actually going to tell you why it's been a little while since you guys have heard from me, really. Well, after my uh, Petrillo video that came out a couple weeks ago, I decided to just um, let like um, let it sit and rake in views. But as well as I decided to start working on another project of mine, not a video, a more physical type of project that's going on. Uh, a little backstory. Ever since like about probably about like eight, ten months now, I've been wanting to get an older phonograph like almost all of you guys do. Like all the, all the other people on here, all the other people that watch my stuff that also do other stuff, everybody has at least one actual phono. Or people have multiple ones of them. Well I've been wanting to get into uh, at least getting one. So as early as I believe November I started looking around for stuff. Uh, mostly through like stuff like Facebook Marketplace and other things like that. And I was going, it looked like I was going to get a couple of deals for very cheap to like uh, restore or other stuff like that. And including some British machines that I was going to get for like 40 bucks or so but that didn't end up working out. Then um, earlier this year I was going to get a, uh, I was very close to getting a Victor BB265 I think it is, but it's, it's a portable like it. And people kept suggesting, oh you gotta get, you gotta get a big cabinet machine, but no that's not really, that's not really my thing, I don't really have the space for that, or the time for that. So I've been just looking for portables and, um, well in late June, I finally got my, uh, I finally got one, for very cheap as well. I am, I'm gonna actually bring it on over here. Well, here it is. I started off with a little Crosley Cruiser back in 2017, like a lot of other vinyl freaks. But then as it got better in like early 2019, I got uh, the Caliphone that I use almost all the time. Well, there's two C's, so ideally I would update acoustically with Columbia, and sure enough I did, just by complete chance. I had looked at many other machines including silver tones and other such things, but hell, Columbia is my thing. And this is the Columbia Bivitonal Raffinola, which is now mine, model 163. They call it the Beast, some places do, because uh, because it's like 30 pounds. Yeah, it's, it's really, really heavy. And so I, over the last couple of weeks, I've just been, um, I've been taking this thing apart. I'll show pictures right up on screen here, but I've been, uh, through help of some people on Facebook and other such places, I have been able to get it, like, I start oiling it and doing other small minor repairs because the thing, it didn't come working really, per se. It's, it's been just sitting for, like, at least 30 years, so... I got to a point where it runs somewhat well, but um, before I can actually like uh, play any records of it, I should tell you that the brakes is complete. The brakes are completely shot still, and uh, it's kind of an anomaly. What I mean by that is it will actually decide not to play some records, and some records it will like, like as in. It will be fine with anything Victor and Columbia, but then it'll, it's weird. I'll, I think I'll just have to do a separate video just talking about that because I think I'll just do several videos just talking about this in general, just uh, helping like just do videos about me repairing it or whatever. I got the service solo or whatever. And I bet right now Greg is probably just screaming down in the comments because he knows <laughs> that I'm going to seal that from him. No, not really, Greg. But yeah, so I guess I'll just give a little demonstration right now of, uh, of what it sounds like.
that is just a little snippet of Absence Make the Heart Grow Fonder by Bernie Cummins. So right now I'm just going to figure out a better way to record him and then um, then put up uh, just like re-release a bunch of older videos I have but just on here a bunch of older records on here don't worry I won't go like I won't go past 1935 and all that stuff I know the stuff was needles all that yeah yeah though at one point I would like to try and experiment with that later down the line of course but so yeah, um, in a couple of days I guess I'll start using this thing, and yeah, I'll see you guys around.